it's Stephanie with the Stephanie O Show on 103.9 FM LI News Radio, and we are here at Long Island. This is the Long Beach Film Festival, and I'm here of the writers, producers, creators of Ink and Steel, the closing picture of this festival. How are you guys? Very well, thank Great, you. Great, thank you. So tell me, what inspired this? Well, it's a very New York story. It's basically the story of an aging mob enforcer who has to protect his boss's son in some rather difficult circumstances. And so it's very inspired by characters real and imagined who, that, who we've come across, you know, sort of spending time in New York and obviously growing up here. So what he's trying to say is that he... he <laughs> oh, you, you interpret oh, him. Remind me of my sons. One tells me and the other interprets. <laughs> what, what he's trying to say is he knows a guy who knows a guy. I and got that, it. that guy inspired this movie. <laughs> okay, I got it. Well, I want to say you're a local guy. I love when it's local Long Island people, especially since we're a local Long Island station. Although we reach all over the country thanks to the internet. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to protect my kneecaps and, you know, <laughs> speak in general terms about <laughs> the inspirations of this film. But no, it's a, it's our what we'd like to call a fresh take on the mobster genre. And it's just a beautiful piece with beautiful characters, and it just happens to be set in the world of the mafia. So. Wow. Have you been showing it all over the country, or is this the first showing? Uh, actually, we, we have been around the country. We, we had a showing at the Chinese Chinese theater in Hollywood at a really nice festival called Dances with Films. We've also been in New England at a festival called Emerge, and we had our New York City premiere at the Soho International Film Festival, but we're extra excited to be here on Long Island with Long Beach because this is where we're from, and actually, just like the community of Long Beach, we we survived Hurricane Sandy with this production, so we didn't let it knock us down, and yeah, absolutely. Actually, during, during production, we were dealing with those challenges and charging our batteries out of automobiles that were losing gas and it amazing, was amazing the story all us Long Islanders because everybody has a story it was an adventure that's for sure and you know what I didn't ask your names so I'm gonna need to ask your name Jonathan Ehlers and Patrick Ward Perkins well I can't wait to see the film so I'm gonna wish you guys the best of luck and I'm sure everybody's gonna love it Okay, good luck. Well, thank you so much. Very nice talking. You got it. I'm going to tell everybody. Closing night film. They got to be here. Stephanie with the Stephanie O Show, 103.9 FM, LI News Radio.